we got this comment on a, on our our uh, our video where we we're talking about the four day work week and how the U.S. should should or should not switch to that. And someone commented and they said, "Sounds like someone that doesn't want to work." And you know what? Yeah, man, who the fuck wants to work? <laughs> that guy never clocks out of work. Like once it, once it's time for him to go home, he's just like, "Nah, I want to keep working. I love I'm my job. Keep, fuck my yeah. family. Fuck hey, my boss. household." You got anything else for me to do? I hate those people. <laughs> hey, like, hey, you got, hey, you got hey, any boss. more of them hours? You got like a fiend. <laughs> hey, hey, boss, can I just set up a sleeping bag under my desk and I'll just take I'll just take like a two hour nap and I'll get right back to work. <laughs> Welcome to the One Up Podcast. I am your host, El Caballo, a.k.a. Tony. Here with my co-host in the building, got my dog DJ Doey Fresh. What up? What up? Also in the building, the bald one, the great one, Pucho is in the building. What's going on, my brother? Not much, man. Not much. Got this new water bottle. Look at that. What a straw. Flip straw. You like the flips? It's fire. Got the little handle. The that does up. look really it looks I like nifty. It. I like the other like, one. You used yeah. to have that big. Yeah, tank of that's war. the one I like. And, uh, yeah. Too heavy for your arms. It was a lot. I think one time it threw my shoulder out. I'm not even lie. <laughs> I used to have. The, I downgraded to a 1.5 liter bottle. I used to have. I think a 2.2 liter bottle. It was girthy. Like, and I think one time, I, I my shoulder started hurting, and I and then I started picking it up with two hands, and my shoulder pain started going away, and I was like, I wonder if it was the, the bottle, and I downgraded, <laughs> never came back. So I'm like, maybe that maybe it was a little too too much weight, you know. I had the Thor hammer of cups. That shit is ridiculous. <laughs> it's pretty big. <laughs> Also in the building, the Texas one without a gun, Mateo. I'm just glad that I got upgraded this week, and I'm a I'm a host again, and not just a guest. Yeah, yeah man, I'm sorry that. about that. The substitute <laughs> teachers never work out. <laughs> <laughs> Although I must I, say, when I went back to watch it, obviously to do the timestamps and stuff, I was like, wow. I don't. I didn't. I was like, I, I expected Doughboy to shit on me, but Jesus, don't fuck it up right after you fucking shit on me. <laughs> It was funny. I actually enjoyed it. Uh, it was, was a my, good episode. It was in my hosting bag, okay? Some would like to say. Your bag had a hole in it. Huh? <laughs> some, would say, some would say that New York didn't send their best, okay? They're Damn. sending Shit. their dope. Nah, I was going for a Trump quote, but it wasn't, it wasn't working, man. I think it hit the spot. I was about to call you a rapist and a thief. And I was God, like, exactly, I mean, that's what Trump said, right? About Mexico. Crazy. Yeah. Fuck that guy. But, Nobody was mad about that. But, you know, talking about water dispensers, I had this thing that I found on uh, on Amazon the other day. And it's a little, like, a desktop water cooler. It's got, like, a little, like, mini, like, a two and a half liter, like, jug. It looks like those water jugs. And you can dispense water out of it. But I was thinking... If I made my if I pre-made myself some cocktails and I tossed him in there before the podcast, I could just pour myself cocktails right here on my desk. Ooh. Wouldn't have to get up, do anything. That would be disastrous. I've thought about that. Putting like a bunch of whiskey in something like this. Mm -hmm. You'd probably die. Yo, you're talking about the uh you're talking about that water bottle that you could put a flavor tab in it, right? No, that would be smart though, it's too, on right? TikTok. It was it's been it's old now, but it was a, a my sister has it. It's a water bottle. That you fill up with water and it has like a flavor pouch you put in. And you can, you know, measure it to how strong you want the flavor to be. People put vodka and then put like a fruit punch flavor thing and they're drinking straight vodka. But they're not tasting the vodka. They're tasting the flavor of the juice. That That's dangerous. Killer. That is dangerous. <laughs> Are those like the Gatorade pouches or something like that? I don't know what it is. I forgot the name of it. She has it though. She says she's tried it. I'm like, bro. A hmm. little bit of Canada... Canada Dry with some whiskey. Gonna be drunk all fucking day long. Dangerous game. So no flavor pouch? What do you mean? <laughs> you just went for a regular Canada Dry. You could just put that in a regular cup. That has nothing to do with it. I, I, I mean, yeah, no. I, that's just the alcohol. <laughs> I don't want juice, really. <laughs> but nah. I, actually, I do want to invest in a bigger mug, but the problem is... There's no cup holder spots for your truck for it. It's just like, what the fuck you do with that big thing? 
There's one that the kids were going crazy about on TikTok because it's like a big, big ass mug, but the but the bottom like, specifically fits into cup holders. That's I, I guess that's the reason why everyone is excited about it on a TikTok. I forget what brand it was. I'm not a TikTok person. I catch the TikTok that makes its way to Twitter basically because I'm old. <laughs> Some would say in Better Call Saul, Kim Wexler should have bought Saul Goodman a cup like that so it could fit in his Mercedes cup holder. Some would say he, that he, the he downgraded his car just off the strength of the the European cup holder size. Some would say that his entire downfall was due to Kim Wexler, and they're wrong. They're completely wrong. They're way wrong. What? Justice for Nacho. That's all I'm saying. Damn. Justice for Nacho. But hold on, real quick question. Last week, right? I was while watching the episode. I came across. This gem of gem in our library of of um, one up, and it's all the box box box. And I was thinking to myself, like, damn, we need to do a box episode where the people yeah. see, <clears throat> excuse me, where the people would see us boxing in. I miss that <laughs> shit, bro. I don't know why. I like the box. The box gave us good energy. The box it must wasn't... have been the box must have been hard to sync up in the audio sense up. though. <laughs> I couldn't have been that hard. <laughs> Do a box and then two claps. <laughs> I can't wait for Tony to have to edit out here talking about. Oh, it can't be that hard. Right? Right? It can't take that long. People always say some shit until they do it. They're like, Tony be like, oh, I'm down to edit. I'm down to do the editing. I'm like, cool, get the software, set it up. It could be fucking crickets. You never hear from Tony again. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just happened like three different times. Oh, I'll try the editing. I'm like, cool, you know, get on there, download the software. Not even like, what's the log? Not even. It's just crickets. It just dies right there. <laughs> It's a gesture. It's Super not- unfair. Super <laughs> unfair. We need to we need to launch we need to launch a channel on our on our one up Discord that's only for editors. You have to get a special permission to ex- access this channel just so we can get all our editing podcast buddies together. We can all just complain to each other about like all the that. bullshit we have to deal with when we're editing. I like that. That yeah. actually is a good idea. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> Maybe they could get. Maybe we could just make them do the editing for us without them even knowing. Like, hey, c- could you guys like try to do this? Give us an example of how you would run this through. <laughs> Be like free labor. Damn, I'm thinking like a confused. boss. Tony's such a capitalist. Yeah. Bird. Capitalizing off of his. But friends. I've heard Tony insult me by calling me a capitalist. He is Isn't a that capitalist. Weird? He Pucho is a fucking capitalist. Why is he a capitalist? The man only wants to make money, have robots make money, don't want to pay people shit. The man is a capitalist, bro. Me and Everett's been fighting with Pucho almost our whole life that he is a capitalist. No, 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 no. The, the, all right, the whole Pucho's a capitalist, all right? This started from, there was this video called Humans Need Not Apply. This came out maybe like 2015. And it was just showing all the things that AI and robots are going to be capable of. Like, they're going to take over driving jobs. They're going to take over fast food jobs. They're going to take over... um, Even... They're even capable of making music. We're seeing it now. Google just dropped an AI, by the the way. Y'all should check that shit out. Google just dropped an AI. It's not released for the public, but you could see, like, what it's capable of. And all you do is type type to this ai you just tell it uh make me a song that kind of has like a a hip-hop beat with um you know a woman's vocals high pitch with a lot of crash cymbals and a lot of bass and make it sound like a song that future would make bro and that shit generates a song exactly like that bro and and it's funny because they even put vocals and shit like that in there but there's the, the AI doesn't actually use words, so it just sounds like sim simish or whatever the fuck. So it's like black, blah, 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 but it sounds fire. Like you're sitting there, listen, and you'd be like, "Oh shit!" Like s- soon, rappers are gonna start, um, like workshopping their things songs. Into AI, we have workshopping songs through an AI, getting something out of it, and taking that as the basis to their songs, and going, "All right, Damn. bet now I just gotta write bars to this cadence." Now, I, oh, I like this beat. I'm going to tweak this, this, and that. And, like, um, you know, the music production is going to be quicker. But, anyways, AI is going to be capable of doing all of these things. And the conversation was, Ever and, and Tony were on some, like, we need to stop it. We can't let this start. We got to nip it in the bud. And I'm just talking about, I was like, you're going to halt, like, technological progress, like, 
to to prevent problems. We need to maximize technological progress while minimizing problems. So if that means like a lot of people get out of work because like they lose their jobs because AI is like taking over things. It's like, all right, maybe we need to come up with like a universal basic income or Give something that UBI, else so that dude. these people could live and then they could just do other shit or we, we need to reform how we think about society. Like, dude. like, but nah, they're like, no, 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 we need to halt. They, they, we need to halt everything. We need to stop it, nip it in the bud so we don't run into problems. And it's like, all right, I guess we just live in the stone age so that like the people who make the stone tools never lose their jobs. You know what I mean? Like it's. It'd be weird. Like we got this comment on uh, on our our uh, our video where we we're talking about the four day work week and how the U.S. should should or should not switch that. And someone commented and they said, "Sounds like someone that doesn't want to work." And you know what? Yeah, man, who the fuck wants to work? <laughs> In my That's... ideal life, I'm not working. I'm just doing my leisure hobbies and activities. Why would you want to work? That's that uh, boomer like mentality that. Um... All these old Senate people, it's like that's their mentality of it. That guy never clocks out of work. Like once, it, once it's time for him to go home, he's just like, "Nah, I want to keep working. I love I'm my job. Keep, Fuck my yeah. family. Fuck hey, my boss, household." You got anything else for me to do? I hate those people. <laughs> hey, like, hey, boss. Hey, you got hey, any boss. more of them hours? You got like a feed. <laughs> Hey, hey, boss! Can I just set up a sleeping bag under my desk and I'll just take I'll just take like a two hour nap and I'll get right back to work. <laughs> the go hards, bro. It's like work is not everything, ladies and gentlemen. Live a little bit. They're gonna replace you when you die or you you get fired or whatever. Like you're replaced. Like don't put your whole life into a job that's gonna just shit you out. You know what I mean? Unless job, you're the owner. That my can, job used to want me to be at the front desk thirty minutes early, two thirty, and I start at three. Once I started to like have to leave at like eleven, and I'm like, why am I coming thirty minutes early? <laughs> what am I doing this for? I'm like, nah, yo. When I took those thirty minutes back, I was a happier man. The facts. I was in the morning. I was like, I'm gonna Hold watch on. a video. When did you take these thirty minutes back? Because I remember, like, maybe a year or so ago, we got into a big argument, and I was like, it makes no fucking sense. Why would you get there thirty minutes early and then leave thirty minutes early? Why don't you just get there when you're supposed to get there and leave when you're supposed to leave? And you're just yeah. like, that's how my job works. Why well, like, you're just it's courteous. You're being nice to people. I was like, I don't I, I have no understand. idea, bro. You go to a place and every every building has different politics in it. Um when but thirty when minutes do, early, thirty minutes out early. Some yeah, some people some places let you leave early. You get you get there on time and then if there's nothing left to do, you can leave like an hour and a half, two hours early. Well, to be to be on Doe's side and mind you. I don't really do that as much. But his job, you're relieving somebody. So you get to yes. a little early, you're kind of helping that next man out. So yeah. it, it vice versa for him as well. So I mean But but if one person stops doing it, that's it. Fucks There's up the no whole that's track. it. They fucked the whole shit up. And that's what happened. That's and then crazy. I was like, yo, if I'm, I'm why am I doing this? If I you know what I mean? I'm just giving the man a two more hours a week of my time or something like that. Right. And and I guess my point was just like, yeah, if you get the 30 minutes early, you're relieving somebody, but you're also suffering by getting there 30 minutes early. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. somebody now you're banking on somebody else getting in 30 minutes early to relieve you. And, and even happen. if that happens, you're working the same shift. Everybody's the working the same thing. number of hours. Yeah. So it's like, why go through that complication and the stress and the drama of not participating in that when if everybody just adhered to their schedules there'd be no drama like, there'd be no it, problems like, that's that that's that office space shit where it where it's uh <laughs> the chicks got the flair and they're like i noticed you only have the bare minimum amount of flair we really like people that you know wear 35 pieces of flair she's like why don't you just like, raise the fucking bare minimum then why don't you just yeah. tell me to wear 35 <laughs> he, man, the, wor the worst part is he does the shit that the, the business that companies do they didn't tell her uh, I'd really like if you were 35 pieces of flair. They were telling her, I just wish you would just express yourself. And she's <laughs> like, the rule is 15 pieces of flair. I'm wearing 15 pieces. What's the problem? Well, we just like our employees to just be themselves. Express. She's like, he's like, look at Chuck over there. Chuck has 37 pieces of flair. That's a guy who's <laughs> expressing himself. It's like, you want me to wear 37? Mm, 
I don't want you to wear 37 pieces because because Chuck is doing her. I want you to. <laughs> I would just want you to express it. And it's like, what is happening wow. here? Like <laughs> they're using like a language to uh, beat around the bush. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Movie holds up, man. Movie still holds up. Yeah. It's I bet you these guys haven't watched Office Space. No, I spent Office haven't. Space? Spent... I've started. I've never finished it. Here's our 90 second review option, dude. Yeah. <laughs> 90 Listen. second review. I think there's some meat there. That's going to be a new segment. Some space right. horror, though. Yeah. Right. Before well, we move on to the oh, next topic, okay. all right? We just tell the people, okay? We're going to try to do these 30, 60, 90 second reviews. We don't know what. We're just going to show somebody who doesn't know a movie. So we pick a person who hasn't seen a movie, show them some number of seconds of that movie, and then have them both review the movie and also guess the plot and, the, you know, the whole thing of the movie. We'll see how entertaining this is. But is this something we were workshopping earlier? We're going we're gonna to give it a shot. It sounds fun. Yeah, it's exciting.